So here we go again. Last night, a man named Stephen Paddock committed the worst mass shooting in U.S. history when he opened fire on an outdoor concert in Las Vegas from the 32nd floor of Mandalay Bay. He was 64 years old, white, wealthy, a retired accountant who loved to gamble, had no currently known associations with any extremist groups. His motives remain a complete mystery at this time. 58 people are confirmed dead, 515 are injured. Hashtag gun control is, of course, trending on Twitter with both sides taking their usual stances. David Letterman is bringing white privilege into it. People, including me, are quibbling over the definition of the word terrorism. It's the same gigantic, disjointed clusterfuck of self-righteous assholes that it always is after a national tragedy. And I just want to say, shame on all of us. It seems that there is nothing that can bring us together anymore. Everything, even a tragedy like this, is just used as fodder to score points against the other team. That shooter up there wasn't targeting one kind of people or another. He was firing indiscriminately. He was shooting at a crowd of people that he didn't know, and he didn't care who got hurt or who got killed. In one regard, he was better than all of us because he didn't discriminate. He didn't care about your politics. He didn't care what your skin color was or what your gender was. All he needed to do to do what he did was have indiscriminate hatred of everyone. So how do you respond to that? What about with indiscriminate love for everyone? Even if only for a moment. What if we all just shut the fuck up for a second and reflect on what we all share in common? What if we paused for just a second and performed a truly revolutionary act of loving our enemies? I don't know, and apparently I never will, because hate, it just fits humanity like a glove. And love takes a lot more work. And so we often see what indiscriminate hate can accomplish. But we'll never know if indiscriminate love has similar power because such a concept continues to elude us. I will not be making an episode of Triggered today. My heart simply isn't in it. I will be appearing on the Drunken Peasants this evening. Hopefully my mood will be better by then. I'm TJ Kirk. Good luck.